Welcome back to Sports Wrap Live, everybody. We are here at the Bud Light Studios for the Sunday wrap-up. You can catch us every week from 8 to 10, unless we're coming off of a, a big day of games like we did today in the NFL and the NFL playoffs, the tournament, as they call as they call it. Uh, and we're going to get into some of the other games from the weekend because it started off with a bang. Um, and we were over there with our good friends at Raging Cajun. Of course, uh, you know, they do some of the coaches' shows over at Raging Cajun. But um, you know what? I've been really proud of you guys tonight um, for the positive vibe. Because we're not going to come in here and sour it up for you. We're not going to come in here and whine and complain. We can poke fun at Jacoby, you know, because he opens himself up for that with some of his antics. And, uh, you know, hey, he's a hood star. And so you, you take the good with the bad. And uh, I just want to get back into the calls because we do have people calling in that want to talk about the Texans. We kind of broke down the game, what we thought about the first and second half. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a very typical Texans game, and they were in it. And uh, But I just want to say, you know, that it's been positive tonight. Hey, they got something to build on. And uh, let's see who's on the loan. We got Yo DC. You want to talk about the Texans? Yeah, man, just calling in support, my man. Bun B, you know what I'm saying? I heard That's right. on this tweet, so I got to get on support my boy, man. Like I was saying on Twitter, man, only thing we support in Texas, man, UGK. No offense to them Texas fans. I'm Ravens all day. Y'all already know young DC, straight from Maryland. So I got to keep the game. Wow. I played a good game, man. I, I can't lie. Well, we appreciate you calling in and showing love to us, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know we didn't expect any Ravens fans to call in, but... We we appreciate you not trying to rub our nose in it, you know, and, and giving us credit for playing the game. You know, we appreciate you tuning in, and make sure you let all your your friends up there in Purple Nation know to tune in and check your boy out. You know, because there's gonna be more games to be played. We have other things to talk about, and we gotta take our hats off too. You know, we we you know real recognize real down here, and you guys played. You know, you were better than us today. You know, yo DC. I definitely respect that man. Can see y'all doing major things in the future, so nobody, nobody can hate that. Nobody. Hey, so, um, yo, DC, real quick. Salute. Real quick, uh, yo, DC, you know, that's what we call trill, and you already know. But let me ask you this. What are the chances for your Ravens against the Patriots next week? Man, you know what? <laughs> you don't sound too confident. I'm just going to watch the game and, and pray for the best, but we all know what the outcome gonna be. I mean, the Patriots gonna win, even though I'm a Ravens fan, so I gotta be, you know, admit to the truth yeah. that I feel that they gonna lose this game, because they play good, but they, they lose on a big game, so they get to the championship, but they lose. But I really see some, I, I see some big things out of them Texas, man. And like I said, I'm just calling this show my support to uh, Bum B. My nigga, I fuck with you. Oh, whoa, 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 Yes, we are not on satellite radio. MP we are on Sports Talk 790. Got to be more careful. Oh, man. That and he's a Ravens were, fan. You see, we'll what, see what happened? We know the Ravens fan. We tried to be They're trying to ball, and ball so hard. That ain't go trying to get us fined. Hey, no, Jimmy. not up hey. the top. This is the Sunday wrap-up on Sports Talk. On a line. Sunday, Adam. I know. His mom is not too happy with him right Neither now. Neither is mine. I know. Right right exactly. Now. Yeah, I think all the moms are tuned in. So shout out to the moms out there. Jeremy um, Shockey's mom, mom called in. She so did. She did. We heard that she wasn't, she wasn't too happy with uh, some of the things, some of the players we were talking about, but uh, that's okay. Andrew, your mom's a big Texans fan. She, You said she was pretty animated today, right? She was going crazy today. I, I mean, uh, her birthday is tomorrow, so I didn't want to say anything, but she was going nuts. I mean, she yells, I mean, loud, a lo very loud. Louder than Adam? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah she's just voice. harping on all the players. You know, get him, get him. You know, she's just rooting for the whole team. She was definitely a little, you know, sullen after the game, but I definitely think that she, like a lot of the other Texans fans, you know, texting each other, you know, plays, you know, what they're thinking about during the game, and they're definitely excited about next season and what next season holds for us. All right, well, I'm excited about some of these other games, Andrew. Um, let's just jump right into that Patriots-Broncos game because I think we can run through it pretty quick. Uh, you know, Tebow. You, yeah, the Broncos got ran through pretty quick. And Tebow ran out of Tebow juice. It just, it, you know, that, that Tebowing was just wearing itself thin, I think. Uh, it, it was bound to come to an end 
against Tom Brady and the Patriots. There was really no answer for Rob Gronkowski. The guy ended up with 10 catches, 145 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, he was and one porn star. Yeah, there were some B.B. Jones uh, tweets out there that were very inappropriate as well. You can check those out on the internet. Uh, but he, he played an incredible game. Brady, six touchdowns? I mean, they, they, the Broncos, for their defense, they pretty much had no chance. They were just picked apart left and right. They had what? <laughs> what are you talking about? No chance. Oh, yeah, they had no chance. No chance in hell. All right, well, looking ahead now, of course, we wrap up the weekend, but then we can look ahead a little bit um, to next next weekend's matchup, Patriots-Ravens. We've talked about both teams now. What do you see with this game, Andrew? I think it's strength against strength. You know, this, this Patriots team, their passing offense is going to go right up against that Ravens defense and that pass defense and see what they can do against each other. I think the Ravens offense, it's really going to be up to them. If they can get the ball and make enough scores to keep up with them, because if you get in a shootout with New England, it's going to be the same thing against what happened with uh, with Denver. You're just going to get shut out. So I think the Patriots obviously have the edge at, at quarterback. I think they also have the edge at wide receiver, but it's going to come down to that Ravens defense and Ed Reed and, and Ray Lewis. Or, you know, It's going to be one of the uh, probably the best AFC championships in a while considering you know this is the chance for the Patriots to get back to where they've always, you know, the past couple years they've lost, you know, playoff games early or the first appearance they've made in games. So this is really a chance for Belichick to get back on top. Well, I, I see Reed not even playing next week, to be honest. I hope it's not a career in, ending injury, but Reed's hurt. Reed's hurt that knee. It, something stretched in that knee. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going to pray for the best um, with him. But I, the way the Ravens played today against us, I don't think there's any way they can handle the Patriots. I mean, they we, we literally should have won this game today. You know, I, I don't want to start harping on that. But, I mean, it was obvious that we were better on the, better at the Ravens on a lot of levels, just not scoring. Sure, if I had shown you parts of the game, you would have said, if I hadn't shown you what the score was, just shown you the physical play of, the, of each team, you would have said the Texans have the lead. I mean, you could have looked at yardage. You could have looked at completion. You could have looked at the rushing. You could have looked at passing. Except for one number, hey, Bon. Hey, it was on the hey, left side of Joe hey, Flacco's stat. It said 2-0. Hey, and it yeah. was on hey, the wrong side of, yeah. of TJ's, of TJ's yes, stats. Yes. Yeah. That was the one, because I thought the same thing. Everything was so balanced. And TJ was winning. Uh, we were winning the ground game. We were winning Absolutely. the passing game. Um, but the score just indicated from what we talked about Thursday night, and I know it's a cliche, mm -hmm. and I know you know, if you don't have turnovers, you don't have penalties, you're going to win 90% of the games. That's yep. just how it is. Um, and the Texans still had a chance against Baltimore. So in my opinion, Gons, I think that the Patriots are going to roll. Yeah, definitely the Patriots. I definitely uh, believe they'll take it. Um, just that offense is just a killer. I mean, they destroy, they manhandled the Broncos. And there was no talk. You know, Mr. Ugg Boots was ready to rock and roll. And Belichick was, he had a game plan set. He had a punt. He yeah, had, yeah. In the quarter, he had he, a punt. That's amazing. <laughs> he got, he got, he got the actual boot, you know, for that one. But uh, well, we got a call from, is this from Boston? Oh, yeah. Man, so we, speak, speaking we, of Boston. You know what? Talking about these Patriots, we had a call from New York now. We've had a call from D.C. Yep. We had a call from Rosie and whatever shed she's living in. <laughs> um, but we're going to take. We're going to take this call right here from Dennis. Let's bring Dennis on the line. Hello, Dennis. Yeah, yeah is this? Yeah, you're on. You're live on Sports Wrap Live Sunday Wrap Up oh, here no, on iHeartRadio. Hey, hey, what's going on? I know that voice well. That is Dennis Tedisco, Boston's own Dennis Tedisco. And I know you're, uh, you're pretty happy with about your chances going into next weekend. Am I correct? Well, um, did you, uh, did you, were you one of these guys that thought that, uh, and excuse my voice, Dennis, we've been going hard since we debuted <laughs> yeah, here on the radio. Dead, I, mean. <laughs> I feel like I'm going through, uh, through puberty here, but, uh, uh, hey, I am a man and I'm almost 40. But, uh, anyway, so did you think that there was going to have any, or that Tebow was going to have more juice in the tank, or did you know that the Patriots, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> did you know that the Patriots were going to roll from the beginning? What did you think about the usage of uh, Aaron Hernandez as a running back? I thought that was pretty unique. Absolutely. I mean, Hernandez is pretty much like the Spanish drunk, you know? <laughs> that's, that's a safe <laughs> assumption. I mean, the whole team right now is just, we're in playoff mode. I mean, you know, people are great. 
he's a great player. I think he's going to have a great, great career ahead of him. But he's definitely he lacks that experience, and that's where the Patriots have it. One thing, Dennis, we've been talking about is the O, the O, the offense, the Patriots' offense. The Patriots actually stepped up and played defense like we haven't. They haven't played all season long. Was that surprising to you? Uh, no. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm from Boston, so I expect this. I've been spoiled over the years. Uh, Patriots have been playing defense the whole time. They have been playing Well, Dennis, my impressions of next week's game, Baltimore's going to look a lot like Pittsburgh did last week when they got T-bowed uh, because a, a hot Tom Brady was sick, coming off of six touchdown passes and making sure that he did not have a four-game losing streak and be on the same list of the guys like Dave Craig and Warren Moon and some others who had four playoff losses in a row. Brady is motivated like no other, and he wants that fourth ring. And I think they're gonna make they're gonna make Baltimore look like Pittsburgh did last week, being beat up, uh, you know, being a little long in the tooth, and um, and I, I think it's gonna be ugly. I think it's gonna be even even more of a blowout than uh, than they put on Denver. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think Denver has a better offense than Baltimore. Um, Baltimore just has the better Dennis, um, once you guys, you know, I don't want to make too much assumption, but uh, say you guys roll past the, the Ravens next week, who would you like to see, you know what I'm saying, and the big game? Would you rather see San Francisco or would you rather see the Giants? I mean, it's, I really want to get revenge from 2000. <laughs> it's really bad, but, I mean, I was, I was in the barbershop, my little brother almost got 19 and 0 sheets in his head. So <laughs> that's, yeah, it's, I really would love to beat the Giants, but, you know, I really, really even more so want to see the 49ers. I, I just think that would be a historic game, you know, Battle of the Coast. It's never happened before. I think it would be, it would be a refreshing thing for the NFL. Dennis, you know what a segue is? Do you know what a segue is? Yep. Watch me shine, kid. You ready? Shout out to Nikki Diamonds for the 49ers renaissance. Of course, Dennis just mentioned that he would like to see the 49ers. If you guys want to get your Diamond Supply Co. at great rates and some, some models and some pieces that you can't find anymore, you go to Carmeloop.com. And, of course, Dennis, who is on the line right now, is from Carmeloop. We're at the bottom of the hour. Dennis, why don't you tell all the good people, take about 60 seconds and tell all the good people out there about Carmeloop.com and what they can look forward to this year. Absolutely. So, for everyone that doesn't know, Carmeloop.com is an online retailer. Um, we sell streetwear. We have clothing, shoes, accessories, hats. Um, Diamond Supply Co., as Adam mentioned, is definitely one of our, is one of our top selling brands. It's also one of my personal favorites. Um, they hold it down pretty hard for the day, so there's, there's a lot of gear seen that way right now, for sure, on the site. Um, and for this year, I mean, we have a lot of dope stuff coming out. Um, we have an online cable channel, Carmeloop TV. Uh, that's going to continue to build. Um, we have, we're just continuing to add um, more products and, and great stuff. We're launching a skate site this year called BrickHarbor.com. Um, that's going to have hard goods, so you're going to be able to get your boards on there. And, uh, you know, we recently launched our premium site, BoilsandTrading.com. Shout out to Frank the Butcher. Shout out to yep. Frank. Hey, great words, Dennis. You sound great out here in H-Town, and uh, we hope to see you back in town 
real soon, of course, the H-Town Sneaker Summit's right around the corner. So if you want to get geared up before the H-Town Sneaker Summit, go to karmaloop.com. Of course, there's always specials run, and uh, and they ship so fast. It's amazing. Uh, I know you guys put it down for the holidays, and we look forward to you to continue putting it down. Thank you, man. Thank All right, man. Good luck. Hey, always. good luck to the Pats, homie. Well, uh, well, i tell you what. Why don't you check in with us next Sunday night, and we'll see if your tune is still the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. That would be great. Hey, Dennis, you know I was coming to Foxborough if we would have, if we were beating this All team right. today. <laughs> I know. I was saying that. I was saying that. I was like, Bud is definitely going to be making a trip. Oh, you, you were going to – you. Really you were gonna, you were gonna get that call. Well, I think I, we were all coming, bud. Yeah, I, I hate I hate I missed the trip to Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely would have not have missed the trip to Foxborough, man. Well, yeah. All right, DT, take it easy, brother. Absolutely. We'll, we'll talk to you real soon. Yeah, they don't want to see the Rat Pack up in Boston. We might take over the city. You know, that's how I was already did. there this summer. That's right. That's right. You went up and represented for us for sure. Um, well, hey, you know what? If Dennis's wishes don't come true and the Patriots actually, I don't know, Tom Brady misses the bus or something and, and, and the Ravens do sneak up and beat the Patriots, you're looking at a Harbaugh versus Harbaugh situation. Brother versus brother. Brother versus brother. Uh, a possible matchup in the Super Bowl. And, you know, the 49ers are well on their way after what they did uh, to the Saints yesterday. So let's let's talk a little bit about that game, and then we'll look forward to maybe the possibility of the uh, the Harbaugh draw the line in the middle of the bedroom, let's fight it out scenario. That Saints game was crazy. It got off to a slow start, but it really picked up in the second half. I, I was just so impressed with Alex Smith in the second half. The way Vernon Davis was able to step up and just pretty much just shed every single tackler that came across his way. It, it was and in the touchdown catch he had at the end, very reminiscent and I've seen the uh, you know the replays, I'm sure everyone else has, of the uh, the TO touchdown, you know, back in the couple uh, was about almost a decade over a decade yeah. ago. But it was just in a very impressive display from Alex Smith to not just get the first score, but to not be deflated by the score they responded back with from Breeze, but to do it again, Adam. Again. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get a chance to fully see the everything i only got a glimpse of the first quarter and i was like dang it andrew is he was right about them seizing opportunities with the turnover that they were making and it was just it was so surprising to me to see breeze and in that whole offense just kind of just have this depleted feeling of just constantly making these turnovers and fumbles they're playing really really sloppy well you know i was talking to al the barber shout out to al the barber of course rat pack um who is he's, he's born and raised in Louisiana, and he knows when Breeze is on. And we both looked at each other, and I told Al, I said, Breeze doesn't look right. He said, I, I, I said, he's there's just something about him, and it was that 49ers defense really was. coming through that line. Yeah, they kept penetrating, man. Um, and you know, hats off to that team, man. That you know, from early on, we saw that this team was going to be a problem to deal with, and it just kept getting better and better as the season progressed. And I mean, they they literally they came to play. You know what I'm saying? They came to play, and um, you know, pu- you know, putting Breeze in the position of having to try to fight back from a deficit, it really took a toll on his spirit. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, then they're they're known to put up a lot of numbers. You know, and but they're in a stadium where you can't put up numbers, and it was frustrating. You know, they didn't get to play their game. Game. They basically had to play San Francisco's game, and you know, even when they tried to push it, and and, and believe me, they, they did some really really strong pushes. But I mean, hats off to Alex Smith. I mean, you know, look at this guy. Look, you know, you would look this guy two years ago, and you wouldn't have even thought he'd have a job in the NFL right now, much less to be in this position. I mean, that he's in right now. I mean. They, they took a big chance on him this season, and he's really paying off. Well, that could go for Vernon Davis as well. Uh, absolutely. he was in Singletary's doghouse, and, you know, they were pretty gung-ho on Singletary. Everybody was in Singletary's Can't play with doghouse. him. Can't win with him. Can't have it. Yeah. Remember that? The, the famous rant, of course. Well, Andrew, let me ask you this. Uh, should Alex Smith be considered a, a comeback player of the year type candidate? Or-